Water is life. We can live weeks without food, but only days without water. Water is a precious resource. Less than 1% of the Earth's water is accessible and available for human consumption. Water is health. Our health depends on safe water. From the water we drink, to the fish we eat, to the lakes and rivers we swim in. Water is power. It moves soil and rocks, destroys homes and whole communities. It can also generate energy and light up cities. Water is prosperity. Clean water fuels our national economic engine. It contributes to agriculture, industry, manufacturing, power generation and transportation. Clean water supports our quality of life. It is the essence of all matter. All the water that will ever be exists right now in the Earth's biosystem. The Earth's water is in constant motion in the process known as the hydrologic cycle. There is no beginning or end to this cycle. The Earth is the best recycling system we know. For as long as we can imagine, the same water, including seawater, has been transferred into the Earth's atmosphere, desalinated, and has fallen in the form of rain to irrigate the land. Every glass of water we drink has already passed through fish, trees, bacteria, soil, clouds, and many other organisms, including people, to cleanse the water and make it fit for consumption. That means the water we use today is the same water that was here when dinosaurs roamed the land. 60% of the Earth's total water flows, the free-flowing rivers, have been diverted. Many rivers no longer reach the sea, rivers such as the Nile, the Ganges, and the Colorado River. Other rivers, such as the Mississippi and Missouri, Iowa's natural borders, have been so altered that their ability to filter excess pollutants has been reduced. While human population has doubled since 1940, human water consumption has quadrupled. Water is needed to produce the food to feed all of those extra people. Therefore, water extraction for irrigation and for agriculture is currently the greatest consumer of the world's water. To grow crops, irrigation is widely subsidized by governments around the world. Worldwide, irrigation is operating at only 50% efficiency. We don't use the most recent technological developments because water is cheap and it's much more expensive to put in efficient irrigation systems. Continued demand for goods and fuel is rapidly increasing the consumption of freshwater resources. Increased pumping has caused both surface water reduction and groundwater drawdown. If water were priced according to how much it really costs to clean it, would we do a better job of conserving it? Historically, people in Iowa and the Midwest looked at water pollution and water scarcity as something that affects people in other places. With more than 70,000 miles of streams and rivers and more than 160,000 acres of lakes, ponds, and wetlands, Iowa is rich in water resources. However, Less than 1% of the state's land area is covered with water. Precipitation averages around 34 inches per year in Iowa. Clean water supplies are also impacted at different times of the year due to variable precipitation, nitrate, pesticide, and bacteria levels. In the Midwest, contamination of water supplies comes not only from cities and industry, but also from livestock and field runoff. There are problems with water on the surface, but also problems beginning to show up in water deep below the surface. Alarmed by a perceived lack of safety in some municipal water supplies, many people are using bottled water, paying prices higher than we pay for oil. Do we continue to believe we have a right to consume all the water we want and pollute at will? Or can we build a culture of conservation that eliminates unnecessary waste and consumption. A culture of conservation would mean reducing our water consumption, properly disposing of things that are potential pollutants, avoiding over-application of lawn and crop fertilizers and pesticides, 
composting and recycling. Explore your watershed. Take a friend along and learn what grows in the water and along its bank. Watch it change through the seasons and learn its cycles. Improving water quality begins at home. Get involved. Work to restore the natural flow of the water on your land and in your area. Become a County Soil and Water Conservation District Commissioner. Commit to making a difference. As it is with the water system, all of life is interrelated. Whatever affects one part of the system affects the whole system, both directly and indirectly. What are the consequences of making water a high-priced commodity? Increasing numbers of water rights conflicts between industries and small communities? Disputes between states? Wars between nations? It is vital that this limited resource, both above and below ground, be protected from pollution, conserved and available for use for drinking, agricultural production, recreation and industry. Traditionally, Iowans and other Midwesterners have valued hard work and sacrifice by individuals for the betterment of the many. How much are we willing to change our lives to ensure the water we use is clean, pure, readily available, and affordable to all?